Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donald Binks. Now, I'm going to be debunking the misinformation going around that Shady Sands was nuked in 2277. It wasn't. It was nuked at least after Fallout 4. And here is my reason for that. During Maximus's flashback when he was a child, we see that there's a Brotherhood of Steel Knight saving him. Now, a lot of people are thinking that the West Coast integrated with the East Coast, but this knight in particular had a East Coast Brotherhood of Steel insignia with uh, the gear on the correct side for the East Coast. Uh, so my line of thought behind this is why would there be an East Coast Brotherhood of Steel soldier in Shady Sands in the year 2000? 277 before the events of fallout 4 that doesn't make sense why there would be an east coast soldier there the only way an east coast soldier would be there is after the events of fallout 4 in nowhere in fallout 4 was there any sort of hint or insinuation that elder maxon had sent anyone back to the west coast this has to be after the events of fallout 4 if it wasn't the Brotherhood of Steel Soldiers would have been overrun by the amount of NCR soldiers there. They would have been outgunned by the NCR at the height of its power. So, very quickly, just to recap, the Brotherhood being there in Shady Sands to rescue Maximus during 2277 is not feasible. It's not possible. Uh, other than that, the creator himself has even said that Fallout New Vegas has not been retconned. Fallout New Vegas, it is still canon. The creator says so himself. If we're going into the billboard theory, which a lot of people have been talking about, it's just the billboard is written poorly to display information. The fall of Shady Sands is separate from the nuking of Shady Sands. The fall of Shady Sands is supposed to be similar to the fall of Rome. Uh, we can assume during the fall of Shady Sands that the NCR moved their capital why what is the fall of shady sands i am not sure it might have to do with the first battle of hoover dam some sort of i don't know political upheaval that caused them to move capitals but it is very safe to say shady sands was not nuked in 2277 even if the writers intended for it to be that year they have leeway and room to fix that mistake, if there even was one. I don't think there was. I think there was little details that were left behind by this, this writer. And he's a clever writer. He knows what he's doing for us to pick apart and debate and talk about. That's the whole point of the show is to talk about it and get the word out there about it. This entire TV show is a lot like the uh, next installment of Fallout. People don't like to hear that, but it is. And... I'd rather it be that way than a stagnant, boring world where nothing happens. Oh, I also forgot to mention that Brotherhood of Steel Knight was wearing T-60 power armor, which is only worn by the East Coast Brotherhood of Steel. So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, just a quick little detail that I noticed today. Uh, next video I'm going to be putting out uh, is about why I believe the Enclave nuked Shady Sands. And that has to do with their pre-war connections with Fault Tech and perhaps where season two of uh, the Fallout TV show will go and the future of Fallout 5, which I personally believe will be set in San Francisco. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Take care and good luck. This is St. Donald Binks signing out.